Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand Morse data widget in Orange. So for this, we will go on the canvas of Orange. First, we will activate the file widget. This can be done by just one simple click. Now, to understand the concept of Morse data widget, it is necessary that we activate another file widget. Now in transform menu, we are having merge data. Click on it. Connect both with the merge data widget. Double click on it. The merging of the data can be done in three ways. The first is append columns from extra data. Second, find matching pair of rows. And third, concatenate tables. So we will understand append columns from extra data first. So to understand this, it's necessary that we see the raw data first. So this is the data set section A. In first column, we are having serial number of the student, serial number of the students, name of the students, and marks. In another data set, we are having same serial number 1 to 10, same name of the students. And we want to add additional column that is gender. So what we will do? We'll go on the canvas, double click on the file, browse, activate section A, open. This is this data, this one. Again, we will go on the canvas, double click on it. And here we will activate section A extra, open. So you can see here, it consists of an additional column, which is gender. So this is this data. Okay. Double click on merge data and make it sure append columns from extra data is on. Now click on the data table and connect it. Double click on it. So the name of the student, serial number, marks and the additional column gender has been generated. Done. So the data has been merged. This is known as left join. Let's proceed further. The second type is finding matching pair of rows. Find matching pair of rows. So this is the original data which we have already seen. Now we will see the matching one. The, the another data set. Now this data set consists of some name of the students which are repeated. See John. Tim, Michelle, Dorothy, Camilla, William, Benjamin, they were there in the original data. Okay. And this is the gender column. Some new names, some new student names have been introduced here. Jack, Nora, Trevor. So let's see what uh, output the second option gives. Again, I will go on the canvas and here I will change the file. Double click on it, browse and make it matching, open, close, double click on it, make sure find matching pair of rows is on, double click on it and you can see the name of the student's serial number, marks and gender. So this, uh, this option gives output of only those rows that are common in both the data sets. Let's understand this. See, the names which are common in both, that output is only given. This is this was not common in both the data set and it has been removed. This is known as inner join. The next option which we have to understand is concatenate tables activated. And we will see the data first. So serial number, students, marks. So this data set, I have included the marks also and gender. There are some uh, name of the students and marks which are common in both. So these are this is common and these are the name of the students which are not common. So again, I will go in orange and I will change this to the data set section A concatenate open. 
double click on merge data make sure concatenate, concatenate table is on now we can specify the condition here let's start with the first one row index row index matches with row index close let's see in the data table so you get such an output okay you get such an output now again go in merge data name of the sorry serial number and serial number should match close now see the data table it gives me the same output again double click on merge data and name of the students should match with the name of the students and just see so john team michelle dorothy they are there in the original data as well as new data let's understand this output john team michelle dorothy they they are present in both the data sets mike turi luna they were present in the first data set but not in the second data set just see here you can see now Camilla, William, Benjamin, they were present in both. Jack, Nora, Trevor, they were present in the new data set, but not in the original data set. So you can see here, Jack, Nora. Okay. Uh, these are the serial numbers. Here, the question marks means missing. Marks, the information is missing of Jack, Nora. Trevor, why it's missing? Let's understand. This table is according to the student one that is the original data. And this table is according to the new data. So here you will get the question marks. Okay. Then the gender. Now let's take one complicated case. What I'll do, I'll go in the original data. See, the merging of the data set is being, is being done on the basis of student. I'll double click on it, on the basis of student. So, the name Camilla, okay, it is there in the uh, new data set also. And the merging is done on the basis of this. Now, let me change this and make it. Uh, I will make the changes in the concatenate that will be much much better so Camilla 89 now what it means that the Camilla is a different person in both the data sets if the identification is done considering the name and marks so we will require a separate entry for this so let me save this control s close it let me go in the network and double click here and what i will do i will just press reload so that the changes which have been done in the data set appear here also let me change it done the next thing which i'll do is i'll double click here student name should match with the student name add more condition and this is marks should match with marks close it now double click on the data table and you can see here camilla marks 87 the original data and in the second table camilla the new data marks 89 so it treats uh, both this observation has a different uh, as a different entity this is known as outer join so this was all about how to merge data in orange for more videos on data mining using orange kindly subscribe to my channel you can also refer my playlist in which i have uploaded videos on data science machine learning and artificial intelligence Please don't forget to like and share my videos you can also follow me on different social medias link given in the description box